Katie, going live now. <laughs> Hello. I believe we are live now. <laughs> and <Welcome>. I. <laughs> My name is Katherine Burtock and I am the assistant director here at Carolina Tiger Rescue um, and I am very excited to join you guys live today as we talk about Giving Tuesday and I'm not sure what's going on behind me right now but I <laughs> feel like enrichment is being put in by some of our staff members and we will be joined very shortly um, by one of our new shining stars on the tour route, Naveen. Um, but I believe it's going to be a few minutes uh, while they get everything set up and ready to go. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Giving Tuesday is a fantastic opportunity for you to help support uh, not only Carolina Tiger Rescue, but also the fantastic cats that call Carolina Tiger Rescue home. Um, this year, our Giving Tuesday uh, is a, uh, has a $42,000 goal. Uh, and that goal is to help us build a new big cat enclosure so that we're ready for a rescue at a moment's notice. Now I will say that our enclosures, um, when they are built, are always built so that we're able to house more than one cat in that enclosure. So typically our big cat enclosures are always built so that we can fit at least three big cats in there um, fairly easily. So even when we say one big cat enclosure, do keep in mind that that is actually something that can handle uh, more than just one big cat at any given moment. Um, so in just a moment, we're gonna have Naveen come over and have a little bit of fun with us. Um, the way that our Giving Tuesday is working for today. So we have this very lovely goal ahead of us, um, but thankfully we are not without a bit of help. Do we have some excitement? We have some, we've here? got a tiger that's <laughs> creeping up behind it's all, you. It's always hard to know what's going on <laughs> behind me at any given moment. But here comes Naveen to come and enjoy some enrichment. Uh, enrichment is something that's really important for us here at Carolina Tiger Rescue. We want to make sure that our cats are really kept happy and healthy. <laughs> and uh, are, are entertained um, and well-fed, as now Naveen has found his, his chicken or turkey treats that were left in the bottom of his box. Uh, enrichment can come in lots of different forms. So today we've given him a box. Um, I don't know if they added any scents to it. Did you see them? I did, I think perfume? we added some perfume. So probably added some perfume to it. So there's some scents. Uh, scent is really important for our tigers, so they definitely enjoy um, finding yummy smelling things and rubbing on them. Um, but let's be honest, food is always more exciting. So hence he hit the food first, um, but he's not done messing with the box just yet. <laughs> oh, there was another piece that was still hidden inside, but he has finally gotten, well, the whole box is on his head, but it's all right. He's gonna work it out. So while we're sitting here watching Naveen, um, can you talk a little bit about some of the features of the enclosure that is gonna be built? Absolutely. So our enclosures have evolved over time, just as they do, you know, at, at, for anything else. Um, and so where we used to have enclosures that would have something like a den box right out in the middle of the enclosure, um, we have now moved towards a lockout design, which means that we have kind of smaller portions of the enclosure um, that allow us access to the animal. That lockout is going to have um, their water dishes. It's going to have um, our new food shoots that we've designed. Um, it's going to have their den box, and that den box actually has a really cool feature, feature in it where we can actually slide a portion of it open so that we have access to an animal. Let's say Naveen here has a bit of an upset stomach. He doesn't want to get up and get moving. We want to actually be able to get our eyes on him and check on him, um, and he's hanging out in his den box. Well, that would be really hard if that den box is in the middle of the enclosure, but these lockouts, they allow us the option to be able to get kind of up close and personal take a quick look in on him um, and make sure that we can get medications to him um, uh, to start him feeling better. So these lockouts are really nice and that they give us a lot of opportunity. Hi, handsome beast. <laughs> Hi. They give us lots of opportunity um, to kind of provide very personalized care for animals, <laughs> particularly, oh, and now he's got the zoomies, particularly if they are feeling ill um, or if they've had an injury. So one of the things I like to tell, uh, tell people, uh, if you've ever had a cat, dog where they've injured their leg and then they say, well, we really need to keep them rested. You need to keep them on a crate. Well, the same things happen to tigers. Sometimes they get, you know, a little zoomy uh, and they may injure themselves. We may need an opportunity to be able to keep them in kind of a smaller space and let them heal up for a bit. Um, and so that's part of what these lockouts are actually going to allow us to do is that they really do allow us um, a lot of flexibility on how we help care for the cats. Um, 
I'm trying to think of anything else that I've missed. So we make sure that we have obviously water dishes and we have food chutes. Um, we want to make sure that all of our enclosures are very spacious. So at the beginning of this, I talked about the fact that we make sure that our new enclosures. <laughs> don't have to make <laughs> we always want to make sure uh, that everybody has lots of room. So the space that you're actually looking at right now that <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't even talk because right <laughs> Naveen's definitely got a case of the Zoomies and is having a lot of fun. Oh, Well, yeah. I mean, I think this is a good demonstration of why they need so much space, of right? Why they need so much space. Yeah. So the space that you can kind of see, which is actually even even on, on Facebook Live, it's kind of hard to see. This is actually only a portion of the space that he has available to him. So he actually has two different main compartments of his enclosure, and then he has lockouts up top um, that he goes in and out of on a regular basis. And so he has lots of space to be able to run and play. Um, we always want to make sure that everybody has enough room. Um, one, to obviously just do tiger things, like running around and having the zoomies. Oh, and we've got more zoomies. <laughs> can't help it. it gets very zoomy <laughs> so we always want to make sure that they have plenty of space to do all of their tiger things to go run around to play with toys um, so in addition to things like uh, uh, cardboard boxes and such we do also have other toys that we actually have available to them that they will run around with and they play with and we want to make sure they have lots of room in order to be able to do that it is particularly important for them to have this extra room if they have another tiger in their enclosure with them I like to tell people this is kind of like living with your best friend. For the most part, it's lovely and wonderful and everybody enjoys having their best friend hanging out with them, right? Absolutely a lot of fun. But sometimes that best friend can get a little annoying and you might want a little space. And so these bigger enclosures give us that opportunity so that they can have their own space. If they've decided that they don't want to play today and their enclosure mate really wants to play, um, they can each have their own space and, and everybody can be happy and and, and have a good time together. Um, but yes, Naveen was definitely a great example of <laughs> feeling the need to run around and, and, and have that extra space to, to play and to goof off. Um, and so that's really important to us when we're building these new enclosures, for sure. Well, I think... No, I think he might I think be he done. Might be done. <laughs> so they are also like cats where, <laughs> your house cats, where they get these big spurts of energy. Um, and then at some point they're like, might be nap time. And well, so, I say that. Right, yep. Nope. We lied. <laughs> we lied. Naveen is not done. Hi, handsome. <laughs> I know. Is there, I, I bet you there are some people oh. up top that keep drawing you back up top. <laughs> but right now you're a... just having a good time being a ham. He's so funny. So we're very excited and we hope that you join us today um, in the support of our next endeavor of getting this next big cat enclosure built. Um, if you go to our website, carolinatigerrescue.org, you'll be able to follow the link um, and be able to support us today on Giving Tuesday. I believe we'll be back this afternoon with an update on how things are going. So please join back um, with us this afternoon. Do we have time for that yet? Not yet, but I'll let everyone know on Fantastic. Facebook. Fantastic. We will certainly post that as soon as we have a time scheduled for this afternoon. Um, and thank you so much for joining us, for joining I Say Us, I would say for myself and Naveen, um, who <laughs> hopefully has now gone to go take a nap. <laughs> thank you so much and have a great rest of your day um, and thank you for your support.